Hello everybody, hi and welcome. I hope you're, uh, you're all well and uh, doing fine. Uh, today we are going to be uh, carrying on with um, RESP32 stuff and we're going to be making a thermometer. A thermometer today. All right, so let's just um, show you the circuit. All right, and just a reminder if you haven't got your kits, your boards, uh, your modules, please check out the links below. All right, so here's the circuit. Here's the circuit. Let me just show you a thermistor. All right, a thermistor. There it is. It's a, just it's like a little black um, blob, if you like, a little black blob. All right. And what it does, it's uh, a resistor that um, when it changes um, changes the resistance in the temperature. Okay, so when it's uh, it's like um, how can I explain it? It's like um, what's the best way to explain it? It's a sensitive resistor. When it senses a change in temperature, the resistance within the thermistor will, will change. Okay, and then it records records the um, the the temperature. Okay, so it's all to do with intensity, temperature, intensity. Right. As I say, I've already built the uh, the the circuit, and so we'll start with the. Um, at the resistor, uh, the uh, <laughs> thermistor. Okay, always get tongue tied. Put it in your board, your breadboard. The right leg goes to uh, ground. All right, the right leg goes to ground. Your left leg. Okay, comes along, and it goes in a row. Where it has a ten k ohm resistor, going to three point three volts. All right, so it's all in the same column. And then the yellow cable goes from the same column to pin four, pin four on our ESP32. Okay, go to our ESP32. And let's come over to this view. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so here we are. So we got our Arduino IDE. I've got version 2.1.1. And it's a new sketch. I've just opened a new sketch. So it's file new sketch. And make sure that you're connected to your board. All right. So I'm on ESP32, a W Rover module, and I'm on COM6. I'm on COM6. All right. Now. Remember in our two parts, our two parts, we've got the void setup and we got the void loop. And our code for the void setup goes between these two curly brackets and our code for the void loop goes between these two curly brackets. And the void setup is you put your setup code here to run once. All right. So it's a pretty little, uh, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty simple little sketch all right so obviously we've got to do our variables first so it's hashtag define all right and we're going to call it pin analog in all capitals pin underscore analog underscore in now remembering you can call it what you like all right you can call it what you like but as long as you when you're doing the rest of the code you refer to that variable with what you've named it. Remember, we put that on pin four. All right. Now, let's do our loop. Things. Are, uh, oh, sorry. Our setup. I'm jumping the gun. All right. Let's do our setup. And there's only uh, one thing we nearly really need to do here is serial dot begin. And remember, it's at one one five. 200 all right that's our board rate come outside the brackets semicolon that's all we need in our void setup 
now the things you want to happen repeatedly go inside the void loop right so it's int and it's adc capital v on the value right so it's adc a value space equals space oh i put an n in there space and it's analog read capital r on the read all right brackets on that's our pin underscore analog and underscore in all right so that's our pin underscore analog underscore in outside the brackets semicolon you know now that's going to read the adc pin okay adc pin so we want double a voltage double voltage space equals brackets on float all right brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets adc capital v on the value space forward slash all right space four zero nine five point zero star for times three point three all right and semicolon what that's going to do is calculate the voltage okay that's going to count the voltage because remember we're plugged into 3.3 volts right enter so now uh we've done the adc pin we're now going to calculate resistance value of the thermistor all right so it's double capital r small t all right equals 10 times voltage all right put capital a in there times voltage space forward slash space brackets on gives us auto brackets off right i want to uh it's 3.3 space minus voltage all right cool V O L T A G. All right. I seem to be pressing extra buttons, don't I? <laughs> Semicolon, enter, extra keys. And now we calculate the temperature in Kelvin. All right. So it's double space temp capital K space equals space. One divided by brackets on one forward slash brackets on two seven three point one five plus twenty five come outside the first bracket. All right space plus log brackets on space plus space hang on hang on hang on hang on right plus log yeah brackets on come back right log brackets on capital r t space forward slash space 10 come outside the bracket forward slash three 
9.50.0 come outside the brackets semicolon I'm just going to check that line make sure I got it right double temp k yeah equals one forward slash brackets on one forward slash brackets on 273.15 plus 25 brackets off plus log rt forward slash 10 brackets off forward slash 3950.0 brackets off semicolon all right now the calculation is in the instructions all right but you might want to write that down somewhere for, in for future reference if you want to me me measure temperature in kelvin all right double temp capital c this time it's celsius all right base equals temp k is capital k base dash 273.15 semicolon all right and then we need to print all this information out okay so serial dot print All right brackets on quotes remember everything in these quotes is printed right adc value colons percent d oh not five percent d comma base backslash t voltage capital v on the uh, voltage space colons base percent full stop 2fv so it's 2f capital v all right comma space backslash T capital temperature yeah capital T on the uh, temperature base colons base percent dot two F capital C backslash n come outside the quotes and then it's comma well sometimes when i'm doing this remember we've typed several lines in earlier videos like this i've always forgot that comma but now i'm remembering it all right adc value comma Space voltage, comma space, temp, capital C. Where's me see? I lost it. Okay, hopefully you can see that. It might be behind my head. So what I'll do? Come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. All right, let's bring it up. Let me put a few space in there so you can see that line. All right, so you can see that line. And then after that, enter delay. And we'll have it for one millisecond. So, sorry, a thousand milliseconds is one millisecond semicolon. Righty ho. Righty ho. Okay, let's come down. We've got all that semicolons. You can see that. Let's follow that up a bit. Okay, then. 
that's our code let's upload it and let's see if she works let's see if she works okay serial dot print f sorry serial dot print f okay i've just seen that all right let's let's uh, just make sure that's what we're having a look at adc value let's try again checking on checking t voltage ah i've already seen a uh, problem okay and we're uploading why do i take that out anyway it's a better mistake right done uploading let's start our serial monitor we do that by clicking on this button up here or going to tools serial monitor and there we are okay so that's showing us our temperature at the moment what i'm going to do i'm just going to put my finger on the uh, thermistor and you'll see it start to go up to my body temperature which is about right because it's uh, really warm here today and i'll take my finger off and there we go and there we go so it's working so you've made a thermometer yeah we've made a thermometer okay so i hope uh, you've uh, enjoyed this video uh quite a quick one but uh we'll have to uh wait and see please give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye